Well, here we go. It's the heating season again here in North Texas. I have a question for you. Is your system winter weather ready? If you're not absolutely sure, then the answer is no. Just like our super hot summer weather, your need for constant, safe, and efficient heat is equally important. Have you ever noticed that systems tend to fail when you need them the most? Well, there's a scientific reason for this. Systems tend to fail when they are stressed due to extreme and extended temperatures, hot or cold. So make sure that your system is winter weather ready. Trust me, you're going to need it. This video will help you to perform the steps needed to service your HVAC units yourself. Or you can feel free to call the pros, the air repair pros, and we'll ensure that your system is winter weather ready fast. Like all heating and cooling systems, proper and regular maintenance is the key to effective and efficient operation. And according to the U.S. Department of Energy, did you know that you can save up to 25% in your energy costs just by keeping up with seasonal maintenance? So, are you ready to get started? Well, here we go. First, locate and shut off the power supply to your air handler. It's normally clearly marked on your main power supply box. Next, let's look at your main air handler. It's usually located in the attic. The first thing to verify is that all of the electrical connections are tight. Make sure that you're using the correct tool and type of tool for checking and tightening these connections. Don't strip these connections. Remember, you're going to do this procedure twice every year. While you're checking and tightening these connections, look closely to verify that there are no burned or damaged connections. Next, check the blower to make sure that the wheel is clean and turns freely. Make sure to check and to test any moving parts on your system by moving them in all directions to be sure there's no excess play or that there's no squeaks or grinding noises. The next step during this semi-annual procedure is to inspect and to change your air filters. Now, as we've taught on other videos, depending on the size and the location, your filter should be changed every month unless your system uses those very large, long-term type filters. Remember, keeping them clean ensures proper airflow to your system. This saves you system wear and tear and saves you energy costs. Now, let's head outdoors to the outdoor unit. Again, remember always to shut off the electrical power supply before doing any work on any part of your system. Here again, just as we did with the air handler, verify that all electrical connections are good and tight and inspect the connections for any corrosion or damage. You should also check the capacitor to make sure that it's in the correct range. Your capacitor should have a rating posted on your unit, and depending on your unit, it should be within 6% of the listed rating. Next comes the semi-annual cleaning chore. Now, you should wash and carefully clean your unit's fins and coils. To help you, we've produced a complete detailed video on how to do this correctly and safely. You can find that link to that video by clicking the link in the description box below this video. To complete the servicing of your unit, be sure to turn the units on and test them by making sure that they operate through a complete heating cycle. By the way, we know that this do-it-yourself tutorial can be overwhelming for some people. So if you feel uncomfortable at any level with any of these operations, just give us a call. We're always happy to help. You can never go wrong by calling the pros, the air repair pros, and we will have you winter weather ready, fast, done right the first time at a really great price. So when in doubt, call the pros, the air repair pros. You'll be glad you did, I promise.